our most popular video so far has been about cattle panels. So we're gonna show you how we get a 16 foot cattle panel in a five foot truck bed. We'll talk a little bit about other methods you can use to get a cattle panel home from a store, including trailers. We've even seen some people get one of these things in an SUV or a van. So we'll talk about that when we get into it. I'm Jonathan, welcome to our garden. This is basically the smallest truck I could get that would fit four normal sized human adults. Unfortunately, that means its bed is four and a half feet wide and exactly five feet long. So how do you get a 16 foot long cattle panel in a five foot long bed? That's what we're gonna show you. Now we've seen some people do this with an SUV or a van. We don't recommend that unless it's already kind of scratched up inside because that's probably what's gonna happen if you try this with an SUV or a van. We generally get our cattle panel from Tractor Supply. They're convenient, they're reasonably close, and they have a decent price. If what we're about to show you isn't gonna work for you because you don't have access to a truck or you don't have an SUV that you're comfortable putting a cattle panel in, Tractor Supply, most of them will rent you a trailer for 20 bucks. Uh, if you need three or four cattle panel and you add the cost of 20 bucks onto that, you've only increased the price of each panel by about five bucks. So that's not a terrible deal if you need a way to get one of the things home. The same thing that we're gonna do here will work for a trailer. We know this isn't exactly about gardening in itself. We'll probably have another video out this week that's more about growing stuff. With that, let's get into how we get a cattle panel on this thing. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that the cattle panels are lined up if you have more than one. Just make sure that you've got the narrow ends together on one side and the bigger squares open on the other side. So once you've got them lined up, the easiest thing to do is just take the end of a ratchet strap that does not have the adjusting clamp and hook it about two squares from underneath at one of the junctions and then pull the strap out and you can lay it down. Once you have that, just stretch it out so that it has enough tension on it to keep the hook in place and do the exact same thing with the other one. And you don't wanna be right on the end, but you also want a little bit of space between the two. It just makes it a bit more manageable. And then once you have the two straps there, grab the other hooks on the other ends and hold that. And if you have an assistant, have him or her at the other end so that they can hold the panels in place or pull them over. And then you're just gonna kind of lift them up and the other person can bend them over. And once you get them to where you can reach them, grab them, you can let go, Daisy. So they're not so strong that one person can't hold them. They're just awkward. But once you get them to where you can reach both ends, then take your two straps and just hook them in about the same place on the opposite side. And once you have that, they're now held together by the straps and you can just tighten up the straps to get them to stay together. And once you have them tight and the two ends are touching together, they're pretty structural and you can pretty much do whatever you need to with them. And that's all held by the straps now. To get them in the truck, you just lift it up and put it in. Just lift it up onto the bed. Now, because I have a bed liner, I don't mind just sliding it along the bed. If you don't have a bed liner, you probably wanna get in the bed and lift it up so as not to scratch anything. And you just shove it all the way to the back wall. Now, here's an extra tip. If you have another ratchet strap, you can take that ratchet strap and run it across the front. And this is the one that's actually gonna keep the panels in the truck as you're driving. So I put this one about three squares back and run it through generally the same height or a little higher than the loops on the inside of your truck. So if your truck has loops on the top, you'll probably wanna run it up here. If your loops are on the bottom, you probably want it here or here. And then do the same number of squares on the other side. And 
and hook it to the other one. You don't need to tighten this yet, just snug it. And then latch it so it holds. If you have other things to load, you can now undo your original straps a little bit. And now you have a good space to load whatever else you might have. In our case, it's the T-posts we're going to use to make an arch out of. And if you want to leave it like that, take one of the straps and instead of running it around the outside like we originally did, run it through one square on each side. And make sure you tighten it up again. What this does is it stops the strap, if any tension is taken off of this, from going down underneath this and then letting it out. And I do the same thing to the top. And then once you have that, tighten up the strap at the bottom and that'll kind of lock everything in place and stop it from bouncing around. And there we go, two 16 foot panels in a five foot truck. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Today we're gonna to show you how we get 16 foot cattle panels in a five foot truck bed.